Hey everyone, welcome back to another Saga Frontier video. First of all, thank you for all the support and thank you for all the people that has been commenting on my previous video as well, pointing out where my mistake is. And also, welcome to all the new subscribers and viewers. I really appreciate you guys over here. So on today's video, this is gonna be a short guide. Well, I'm gonna call it like the second part about the mystic guide that I have posted before and you can find it on the playlist that I'm gonna put on the description down below. You can find the link for the playlist there and this is gonna be like a short guide on how the mystic absorption works because there is a little bit of confusion I guess for a newer player to understand how the absorption works because sometimes the mystic Feyblade, the mystic gloves or the mystic boots can kill the enemy instead of absorbing it. So on this video, I am going to show you the best way to absorb an enemy and I'm gonna put Marish as example because Marish is like the one enemy that you won't find in the map. It's only available on Ricky's final boss. But since now you can have a new game plus on the remastered, you can finally complete a mystic with all Marish absorbed. And right now I am working it on Master Theme. Like my Master Theme has two Marish already absorbed. I just need one more to complete my Marish. So let's go to Ricky's final boss. The reason why I put Marish is because one, she is like one of the bosses here, and also she has a around 5k HP, if I'm not mistaken, on Ricky's final boss. And I just did an oopsie because I forgot to put skills on Fuse. Let me get back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And finally, I put a proper skill on my Fuse. So, since Marisha is like in front of Doll right now, so I'm gonna shoot her, hoping that she doesn't die in one shot but I think she will survive. So basically, um, Marish has around 5k plus HP. All you need to do is bring down the HP to around 1k and then use either the Feyblade, the gloves, or the boots and it should work. All this damage for the Feyblade, Mystic Gloves, and Boots also depend on your Mystic stats. The higher your stat, more damage you can deal with your Boots, your Glove, or your Feyblade. I am wrong about Marish HP. Somehow her HP is way more than 5k. No, almost 7k I guess because she didn't die after 6.7k damage and then it was like 800 earlier so that's in total for 7.5. Yeah, 7.5k and Marish is still standing there. It's not that yet. So I guess her HP is maybe 8k now? I don't know. Like the thing is I don't know if it scales with your character on the remastered because I know on the ultimate battle, on the ultimate boss, it does scale up really high. So let me clean up all this mess first. I don't know if it scales up because I already defeat Fuse ultimate boss. If someone knows for sure if it scales up, let me know in the comment section down below. If it's not absorbed yet, 
that means she still has a lot of HP. Fingers crossed. And yep, finally got all my reach on my Messer thing. So I'm gonna continue this fight and I'm gonna be back in a sec to explain more. Okay, I'm back and I finally got Master Theme with all Marish. So this is the Blade One, the Magical Heal, the Tiger Rampage on Gloves, and then on Boots, it's Lightning Crash. I would say among these three, the Lightning Crash is the one not so useful, but again, Tiger Rampage is really useful, Magical Heal you don't need to ask. This is like the best healing magic that you can get with a mystic. You can get it from a wonder dog as well. As you can see the attribute bonus on the right side, everything is 25. So I finally understand why Marish has a bigger HP pool earlier as you see on the video like it still stands after 7.5k. It's because, I think it's because I already defeated the Fuse Ultimate Boss and Fuse Ultimate Boss has a scale up, not even a scale up, like triple the stats that usually all the final boss have. Ricky's final boss had this one skill called Revolution 9 which usually doesn't show up on the normal version, it only show up on the ultimate boss version. So I don't know for sure, but I think it has something to do with me defeating the ultimate boss for Fuse. Okay, so back to Mystic Absorption. So the easiest way to absorb any enemy, especially the hard one like Dulahan, Juzaku, Marish, you need to bring down the HP at least until like 1k. I think I'm gonna put on the description later um, the HP pool for Dulahan, Marish, and also Suzaku. So that way you can at least get the idea of more or less how many HP they have. So that way you can plan when to attack and when you're gonna use your Fayblade, your Glove, or your Boots to absorb them. But remember, this trick only works for a normal mystic. So for example, if you use Asolus and you want to absorb those stuff with Asolus, for example, you use Fayblade on Asolus, it will deal damage, but it doesn't absorb the monster. It will kill the monster instead. Because how Asolus works, if you use the Fayblade or the Mystic Glove or the Mystic Boots, the first thing it will do is deal damage and then transform Asolus into a Mystic. After she transformed to a Mystic, then you can finally absorb the monster. But if you had, for example, you had the Zuzaku had only 100 HP and then you're going to absorb it with a Fayblade from Asolus, instead of absorbing it, it will kill the Suzaku and you won't get it absorbed because again like I said Asolus mystic power works differently. Personally I would say Asolus it's not worth it to absorb them because Asolus can be really strong without even absorbing 
Aesilus enemy because Aesilus stats works like a human. That's the bonus of Aesilus. But if you want to have a really long fight where you want to use Aesilus, her stat boost would help a bit. But then again, on like a long run, I bet your Aesilus is like super broken. Like maybe your Aesilus has DSC already or something. I don't know, everyone play differently, so I can't really say that I would have the same Aesilus as you guys have. Because I know some people like Aesilus with a gun that can deal a really broken damage with Bound Shot. And then there's also people that love to use DSC on their Aesilus. So if there's a word in this video that is kind of confusing for you guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. So that way you guys would really, really help me to improve myself for the future videos. So I hope this short guide can be a really helpful guide for you guys. And also I have some other guides that you can find on the playlist on the description down below for other stuff on Saga Frontier. I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe everyone. Bye bye.